Diane and the Deductibles. What a great show. Wow. I think we both had a really good time as musicians and artists. We had a great time tonight. Yeah, it was a great show. Everything turned out really, really good. We had fun. The audience had fun. That's the way we like it, you know? Fantastic. When you looked out and we put the lights on, you could see everybody was standing and having a great time. We did the best we could tonight and we're proud of it. I looked around the audience and everybody was up on their feet going crazy. It was real exciting. It was packed, sold out. <laughs> Great, yeah, it was oh fun. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. The crowd was incredible. Great vibe. We definitely knew we were hometown, yeah, you know? <laughs> for sure. It's always great playing for the hometown. You feel the energy when a place is packed and it's sold out. The energy was really up. People were standing, being very energetic. I like also just talking to the people. At the end of the show, just the meet and greet, just listening to different people's stories on how, you know, this song meant something to them at this particular time. Yeah, the meet and greet tonight was exceptional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great community, great mm -hmm. people. We played in a bunch of large venues and we played in festivals, but I'd be really honest, 300 some odd people in this little theater, probably the loudest I've heard a crowd. It was very intimate, good sounding venue, just the thing that we need to get our music across. It was just like one big party, you know. <laughs> It is just fantastic. You can connect with the audience. They're more watching what you're doing and how you do it. Get to appreciate the musicianship instead of just hearing this one wall of sound. It's a great sound, a great stage, great lighting. We're fortunate to play here. that Huntington Beach here has such a nice venue for bands to come and play. I like that they serve the food, our friends can come in and get the VIP. Just an overall really nice vibe here. The beginning of the set's always great. Back on my feet again is the, is the song we open with and everyone who knows the babies loves that song. It's like a band favorite. Don't you know what you got, but I'm sure glad I found you. First, it's usually the one we do like a, as an encore, and we come back on and do that song, and it's always like, you know, that's a no-brainer for any Babies fan. When they hear Head First, they're like, let's just take it home. Have so much fun playing the songs live, just like this family effort. Everybody just grooves off of each other, and that vibe is there. For us to come back 30 years later is just unbelievable. So it makes you want to play and come to places like this. It's so much fun to have an intimate place to play, and this is one of them. That's the main goal right now, is just more live performances. We look forward to the new year and uh, see what we got up our sleeves, you know. Time. Sunrise 
for that connection. That's the most important thing. If I can make the connection, it feels good for them, for me, makes me want to do it again. As I say, I work about two months to get my one hour on stage. It was very, very cool when I was listening to the sound check, when it was just the dudes. And then Diane came out, and then it took another flavor and another direction. You can't you know, beat the musicianship that's on that stage for her. Great songs, great front person, and a great band to go back her up. Getting better at the Rock and Blues Concert Series. You know, it takes a bunch of people to, to run this. So it's been a very interesting experience learning what really works. Intimate venue, all great seats, friendly staff, awesome green room, VIP rock star lounge. The musicians love it. I think the people love it. It's all about live performances. There's nothing like playing a song live with a full band and a full sound. Seeing people, you know, enjoy that. There's not a lot of venues in Orange County that give credence to the arts, really. This was an amazing time, and to be, you know, to be a part of this community. Diane was amazing. Yeah, yeah Diane sweet. was awesome. Oh my yeah. gosh, Diane is the great. Beach Library, this whole place, it was, it's like a little secret, yeah. you know, and then you come in here and then the magic happens. Yeah. That's kind of what happened tonight. It's really a, a nice community, it's a nice theater. For those that haven't been here yet, it's a neat place to see a show. The next artist for February 18th will be Jennifer Magnus, and she's going to play her new record and all the other great songs that she has produced over the years, 12 albums. I'm real excited that she's coming to be at the February 18th, 2017 show. The way to get in touch is to visit the website. That has all the ticket concert information. www.insurance-rocks.com Look forward to the 2017 Rock and Blues Concert Series season. Whoa.